Like, share and subscribe. Weight loss for brides. Drop at least one dress size before your wedding. The stress and anxiety that most brides experience as their wedding day approaches can be overwhelming for them. The amount of preparation involved and the countless number of details needing attention can make it very difficult to eat sensibly and maintain even a modest level of good nutrition. I can recall countless conversations with brides who are so stressed out in the month or so before their wedding that they abandon all good eating habits and either starve themselves or binge on junk food to handle the stress. Many are genuinely terrified that they'll be overweight and unattractive on their wedding day or even worse won't be able to fit into their dream wedding gown. I've been working with a personal trainer for the past 10 years who continually reminds me how just a few simple changes to your daily routine can make a huge difference. The four basic principles I outline below really do work. I've had personal success using these strategies and continue to follow them on a daily basis. Many of my clients who have requested my help and followed this advice have had remarkable results. Start this program at least three to four weeks before your wedding day and see for yourself. 1. Water. Water and more water. Hydration is critical. While the benefits are countless this is one of the hardest things to implement into your daily routine. Whenever I would neglect this item my trainer would recite how water lowers body fat flushes cellulite improves digestion, gets rid of dark circles under the eyes and makes you feel full. These are just a few of the benefits of drinking the required 2.5 liters of water per day. This may seem like a lot but I found the easiest way to get into the habit is to break the amounts down into manageable amounts. Keep a bottle of water beside your bed. Before you go to sleep drink one half the bottle and as soon as you wake up before your feet touch the floor drink the remaining one half bottle. Before each meal drink a half a bottle of water. Carry water with you and sip it throughout the day. I can't overemphasize how important this step is too. Go for a 10 minute walk every day. Start with this you can always increase later after it becomes routine. It's enough to gently boost your metabolism and keep you active. 3. Eat often but only in small portions. Before I started this method of eating I would starve myself for a couple of days whenever I wanted to lose weight. It seemed logical to me at the time. When I started personal training I had to modify many of my bad eating habits. I had to start eating 6 meals a day. Don't panic it's easier than it sounds. Every three to four hours from the time you wake up eat a little something. Your digestive system is far more efficient at handling a series of small meals than it is at tackling one large meal. I usually eat at 7 a.m., 10 a.m., 1 p.m., 4 p.m., 7 p.m. and 10 p.m. Your meal portions meat veggies carbs should be no larger than the palm of your hand and no thicker than the palm of your hand. 4. Eat healthy. I could spend days offering suggestions on meal variations but there are many excellent books that have been written to give you ideas. I'll share my recommendations in another upcoming article. So to make it simple a typical meal should be a protein a carbohydrate and a vegetable or fruit. Here is a sample daily meal plan that I eat to get you started. Meal 1. Protein shake with 1% milk I like whey protein drinks such as isopro. Meal 2, one half an apple and cottage cheese or yogurt meal 3, piece of chicken no skin and a small salad. Meal 4, cheese and the balance of the apple. Meal 5, piece of lean meat rice or potatoes vegetables. Meal 6, low fat chocolate pudding mixed with protein powder. 5, the best part reward yourself. Choose one day a week as your reward day and eat whatever you want and as much as you want. Whether you like pasta cookies ice cream or my personal favorite chocolate. Enjoy. Don't worry you won't gain fat if you do this because for the past six days your body has been used to eating what I term clean food. On the seventh day your body thinks you're going to do the same and when you don't it gets fooled and eliminates the effects of the junk food. In essence you're tricking your body that day but you must eat cleanly on the following day. I have told many upcoming brides about this method of eating and almost all of them have emailed me back to let me know how thrilled they were at reaching their target goal of weight loss. I hope it works for you too. As a final note of encouragement my daughter used this method of eating and in one year she went from a size 18 to a size 2. This was four years ago and she has still maintained her weight to this day. 
These simple techniques will not only help you quickly safely and effectively lose at least one dress size but they will also help you feel more energetic, vibrant and healthy. Not to mention the positive effect it will have on your skin texture and overall appearance. Stay on track and you'll be amazed at your results. Eat well drink plenty of water and as you progress simply imagine your groom seeing you for the first time in your wedding gown and watching his jaw drop in speechless silence. First and foremost people don't realize that what they drink is the first step in losing that first 10 pounds. In fact most people don't know that when they feel hungry they may actually be dehydrated and they are really three sty not hungry. Water is remarkable as well. Over 66% of your body weight is nothing but water. This is also why water plays an important role in weight control. So tip number one is, drink plenty of water. It's recommended that you drink eight glasses per day but that may take you some time to work up to. Your body needs a whole lot of water. Water doesn't just flush all the toxins out of your body but it makes you feel better and healthier. When you drink a lot of water you just begin to feel fit and this is the motivation you need to lose weight. The best thing about water is you can drink as much as you want because it has no calories at all. When you're drinking a lot of water you eat less as well because you won't feel as though you're starving to death. Remember if you feel hungry try drinking a glass of water first and you'll realize you were probably just dehydrated and not hungry at all. The whole 8 glasses a day rule is really something you should strive for. The best way to do this and to measure your water intake is to buy a jug from the drugstore or grocery store that is designed to hold exactly 8 glasses of water. These are great weight loss tools because you can fill them up freeze them and as it melts throughout the day you fresh and cold water. Or if you don't mind your water room temperature you can drink it that way as well. All that matters is that you're getting in the water your body needs. Tip number two, start off your day with a fresh clean glass of water. As soon as you get up in the morning drink one down. This will help your body to get going because it won't be fighting through dehydration. Also after you drink a glass of water you won't need to eat such a large breakfast. A glass of water wakes up all the digestive juices in your body and gets it well. Lubricated. You can always have your morning coffee or tea but be sure to have a glass of water afterwards. Caffeine dehydrates you and you want to ward off dehydration. Tip number three, drink a glass of water before you sit down to eat. Water will naturally make you feel fuller so you don't have to eat as much food. Tip number four, have a glass of water while you eat as well. Take a drink after each bite and you'll feel full more quickly so you can leave the table feeling satisfied without feeling bloated. Drinking water while you eat will also help your food to settle more quickly which also helps you to feel full faster. Tip number five, do your best to stay away from soda. All sodas are sweetened with lots of sugar. The more you can cut out of your diet the better. Also diet soda is still soda. It may not have as much sugar but it has other chemicals and components that are not good for your body either. If you drink a soda counteract it with a glass of water. Remember caffeine dehydrates you as well. Decaffeinated sodas still have caffeine in small amounts as well and just as much sugar so they are not much healthier either. Tip number six, fruit juice isn't as healthy as most people think either. Juice actually has a lot of sugar in it as well. If you're craving a glass of juice drink fresh fruit juice instead of juice that has artificial flavors and coloring. It's even better if you can make your own fruit juice. Just be sure not to add too much sugar which adds to the calories. Instead of drink fruit juice eat more fruit. Fruit provides your body with much needed fiber as well as vitamins. Tip number seven, go easy on the tea and coffee. They're pretty much harmless if you don't add a lot of cream and sugar to them. It's the cream and sugar that becomes fattening. Think of it this way when you've a cup of coffee or tea with cream and two cubes of sugar you're essentially eating a piece of chocolate cake every time. Now think of how many pieces of cake you're eating when you've a venti Starbucks latte yikes. Tip number eight, if you must have your tea and coffee try to drink it black. Black tea or coffee actually has health benefits to it as long as you counteract the caffeine in your body with a nice big glass of water. Caffeine is also not good for you because it affects functions in your body, like your metabolism. Another type of tea that you can drink freely is green tea. 
Green tea has been used as a medicine in China for over 4,000 years. It aids the digestive system and can help ease an overly full stomach and it has been linked to a reduction in cancer risk. Tip number 9. If you can say no to alcohol then that's best. Alcohol beverages are not exactly good for you although a glass of red wine does have heart benefits most are just fattening. Beer is especially fattening. Cocktails are fattening depending on what they are made of. For instance whiskey and coke. The whiskey may not be fattening, but the coke definitely is. Plus after a few drinks most people get the munchies and when you're feeling a little inebriated and hungry you won't be able to make rational decisions regarding your diet and it's usually late at night. Just before you pass out from a night of drinking that you overeat. The overall combination is just not a good one. Tip number 10. If you must have alcohol try dry wine. Dry wine is better than your sweet wines because sweet wines have more sugar. Dry wines have sugar but most of it has been fermented away into alcohol and from a weight gaining perspective dry is better. Tip number 11. Another word on coffee that's not necessarily bad but more interesting than anything. Some people have reported that when they drank black coffee before exercising they lost more weight. There's no scientific proof to back this but nutritionists believe it may be caused by the body being forced to depend on fat for fuel. Hey it's worth trying if you can stand black coffee. Just remember to drink plenty of water during your exercise. Tip number 12. Avoid drinking excessive amounts of coffee as it desensitizes your body to the natural fat burning effects that caffeine has. One or two cups if the day's really slow to get started. Max. Eating well and losing the pounds. Okay when most people think about losing weight and eating, they think about dieting. Well unfortunately all of the fad diets out there tend to cause people to gain weight. Why? Because they starve them to death and the person eventually breaks down and eats everything inside because they're so darn hungry. They also deprive them of the foods that they love. This is not a way to lose weight, nor is it a way to live. You only cause yourself stress which actually causes you to gain weight. So in eating right there are a few tips that you can follow each and every day and they're not going to deprive you of the foods that you love but treat those foods as luxury items so you enjoy them that much more. Tip number 13. Eat fresh fruit and vegetables that have high water content. These are foods like tomatoes, watermelons, cantaloupe, kiwi, grapes, you get the idea. All of those fresh and flavorful juicy fruits and veggies are good for you. These items contain about 90 to 95 percent water so you can eat a lot of these and they will fill you up without adding on the pounds. Tip number 14. Eat fresh fruit instead of processed fruit. Anything that is processed has more sugar. Processed and canned fruits also do not have as much fiber as fresh fruits. Tip number 15. Increase your fiber intake as much as you can. This usually means eating more fruits and veggies. Tip number 16. Veggies are your friends when it comes to shedding pounds. There are tons of options here and you may even want to try some you haven't had in the past. The leafy green varieties are the best and you always want to work in a salad when you can. Salads are packed with nutrients as long as you don't pour too much dressing on and load them with too much. cheese. The leafy greens also have a lot of natural water. Tip number 17. Be intelligent about what you eat. Don't eat just to eat. Animals eat on instinct. People eat when they know their body really needs it. Don't be an impulse eater. Tip number 18. Watch everything you consume from the food itself to what you top it with. Garnishments and condiments can sabotage a healthy meal because they are typically high in fat. Tip number 19. Get a handle on the sweet tooth. This doesn't mean you can't have your sweets just. Don't eat them as a meal. Always remember that these sweets end up adding to an area that you don't want them to add to. Don't deprive yourself either though, because then you'll eat twice as many as you should. Tip number 20. Set meal times and stick to them. Try to have your meals at specific times and eat them at that time. An eating pattern will help you to control what you eat and when why you eat it. Also it really is better to have five small meals a day rather than just one or two huge meals. Just eating once a day makes your body feel as though it's starving which packs on fat instead of using it as fuel. Also don't wait until you're starving to eat. This only makes you overeat until you're stuffed. Tip number 21. Eat only when you're hungry. 
be sure to drink a glass of water first to determine if you really are hungry or if you're really thirsty. Many people have the tendency to eat when they see food. It doesn't mean they are hungry they just want to eat it. Don't eat anything you're offered unless you really are hungry. If you feel you must eat it out of being polite just nibble don't have a meal. Tip number 22, try not to snack between meals but if you must have a snack make sure it's a healthy one. If you travel a lot try to find healthy snacks and not junk food. Tip number 23, veggies make great snacks. They can get you through the hunger pangs if you're having them. Carrots are great because they satisfy hunger and they're packed with nutrients. Tip number 24, counting calories is a good idea for those must-have food items. If it's a packaged food item then it will have the calories on the packaging. Be sure to pay attention to serving sizes in terms of calories as well. A notice Spunkmeyer muffin is intended to be three servings sir. You've to double the calories listed. This is where food producers get tricky and you can't fall in their trap. Tip number 25, work off the extra calories by the end of the week. If you feel you've splurged too much this week be sure to get to the gym or go walking a little longer to work off those extra calories you've consumed. Tip number 26, stay away from all things fried. If it's breaded it's better that it's baked. Fried foods are immersed in fat and oil. Even after the excess has oil has been drained away there is still oil absorbed into the food item itself. Tip number 27, don't skip meals. You should have at the very least, three meals a day but preferably five small meals. This will keep you from getting hungry during the day and overeating out of starvation. Tip number 28, just like fruits fresh vegetables are better than those that are canned. It's even better if you can eat your veggies raw. When you cook them you cook away the nutrients. If you must cook them try to boil them to the point that there is still some crispness to them. Also don't soak them in butter. If you can buy organic and pesticide-free veggies that's even better. Tip number 29, don't eat more than one egg per day. It's best if you can reduce your egg intake to three a week. Tip number 30, chocolates should be treated as luxury items. Buy the good stuff and only eat them every once in a while. If you really savor each morsel you'll experience that much more joy in eating them and they will taste even better. Tip number 31, eat foods from all of the food groups each day. This is a great way to ensure you're getting all the nutrients your body needs and it helps to ward off any diet deficiencies. Also don't eat the same foods all the time. Experiment so that you don't get bored with same old diet. Tip number 32, try to eat breakfast within an hour of waking up. This is the best way to give your body the jump start it needs. Don't wait until you're really hungry. Breakfast is important but you don't need to stuff yourself. The idea is that you're breaking the fast from not easting all night. Tip number 33, your diet should include all aspects of the food groups including carbohydrates. In fact your diet needs to be about 50-55% carbs. Carbs are a great source of energy. Those diets that prohibit carbohydrates are actually harming you and only making you crave them that much more. Your diet should cause you to be deficient in anything. Tip number 34, proteins should make up only 25-30% of your diet. Far too much emphasis is put on meat as the main part of your meal. In actuality it should be considered more of a side dish rather than the main course. Tip number 35, fats should make up 15-20% of your meal. This is really all the fat your body needs. A lot of this is going to be in your diet in the form of cream sugar and the like. Tip number 36, eat more white meat than red meat. White meat includes chicken, fish and some other fowl. Red meat includes beef and pork. Tip number 37, try to go as vegetarian as you can. This really is a healthier lifestyle even if you can't cut meat out completely. The more fruits and veggies you can eat the better. The more meat you cut out the more fat you can cut out of your diet as well. However protein is important so be certain that your option allows you to maintain good protein levels. Tip number 38, white bread is good, but high fiber multigrain breads are much better. These breads are another way to add more fiber to your diet and they also have a good protein level. Tip number 39, pork does not assist in weight loss in any way. 
The less pork you eat the better off you'll be when trying to lose weight. Pork has a high fat content and includes food items such as bacon ham and sausage. Tip number 40. Limit your sugar intake as much as possible. If you must have sweetener in your coffee and tea try to find an artificial sweetener that you don't mind the taste of. However these things are not all that healthy either and should be limited as well. Tip number 41. Try grazing 5 to 6 times a day. These are those small meals we discussed earlier. Some people lose weight better when they never feel hungry and grazing on healthy food items. Can do this for you. Plus it keeps your metabolism working which will burn fat naturally. Tip number 42. Don't worry about cheating but don't cheat for a meal. Eat sweets and your favorite cheat food for the flavor only. If you want dessert after dinner share one with the whole family. You'll get the flavor but not the pounds. Tip number 43. Watch your fat intake. Each fat gram is 9 calories. If you know your total calories then you can figure the amount of fat in those items. Tip number 44. Take it easy on the salt and try to cut what you use in half. Salt is one of the main causes of obesity. Lose weight by changing how you cook. Here are a few tips that will help you to lose those first 10 pounds by simply changing how you prepare your food. How food is cooked has just as much to do with how healthy it's or is not. Tip number 45. Instead of frying in oil or fat try baking those items instead. Baking does not require all the fat and oil that frying requires and your food is not soaking in those substances while it cooks. Tip number 46. Use non-stick frying pan spray so you don't use oil. Also pans that are non-stick don't require as much if any oil. Tip number 47. Boil vegetables instead of cooking them. You can also steam them as this is probably the healthiest way to eat foods like cabbages, cauliflower, broccoli and carrots. Tip number 48. Be leery of no fat and low fat food items. There are many of these food items on the market but they are not exactly healthy. Many of these food items use some sort of chemical or carbohydrate to sweeten them so that they taste better. However the body turns these chemicals and carbohydrates into sugar in the body which means they are still getting turned into fat. Tip number 49. Don't fall victim to crash diets. These are bad for you and do more harm than good in the long run. The short-term results are typically that you'll lose a few pounds but once you give them up then everything comes back and your weight is worse the second time around. You can't survive on a crash diet and you eventually get to a point where you've to give it up. Tip number 50. Chew your food at least 8 to 12 times whether it's liquid food, sweets or ice cream. This adds saliva to the food that digests the sugar. When food isn't eaten properly and is just swallowed you fill your stomach with food that isn't ready to be digested and it then doesn't yield the health benefits that you need. Tip number 51. When you're cooking with oil use a good extra virgin olive oil. It's more expensive than vegetable oil but the health benefits are much better and it's worth the cost. Olive oil has been associated with a reduced risk in coronary heart disease and helps to increase the elasticity of the arterial walls which reduces the chance for heart attack and stroke. Exercising to lose weight. There are two things that you must do to lose weight and one of those we have already covered pretty extensively and that's to eat right and fill your body with good clean water. The other thing you've to do is get your body moving. You don't have to purchase a gym membership to get exercise. In fact there are several things you can do on a daily basis that will help to kick start your body into losing weight and there are several exercises you can do on your own to lose weight. Tip number 52. When you begin working out whether at home or in a gym don't be discouraged if you don't see results right away. It takes more than a week to get your body into shape and to begin making progress. Many people make the mistake of believing that their exercising isn't working when it just takes a little bit of time. If you push your body too much when you first get started exercising you can end up with injuries. Your bones joints and ligaments are not prepared for the exertion you're putting on them. Don't think that if you really push yourself hard for a few workouts that you'll lose money unfortunately the body doesn't work this way. Slow and steady wins the race when it comes to exercising. Tip number 53. Check your weight when you start exercising but don't use it as a guide to how much weight you're losing. Your weight fluctuates throughout the day. 
If you check your weight every day you may only end up getting discouraged. Tip number 54. The best way to know if you're losing weight is by the fit of your clothes. If you start to feel as though you're floating in your clothes then you know you're eating and exercising is doing you some good. Another way to know if you're losing weight is if you can begin moving. Where you usually buckle your belt of course tighter is better. Tip number 55. When you periodically check your weight and the fit of your clothes reward yourself. Buy yourself some new running shoes or a new pair of jeans. This will help to keep you motivated as you pursue your weight loss goals. Tip number 56. Take a day off from exercising to provide your body with a chance to rest and repair. Your body needs a day off once a week. Tip number 57. Three days of 30-minute exercise will help you to maintain your weight but you need at least four days of 30-minute exercise to begin to lose weight and five days a week is even better. Tip number 58. Collect information on exercise and easy things you can do from your own home. There's tons of extensive research available on exercise and you can choose what will assist you the most to meet your weight loss goals. Browse the internet or pick up some books on health and exercise from your local bookstore or library to learn more and how to burn off the desired number of calories you're trying to burn each week. Tip number 59. Try to find an exercise buddy. This should be someone who's as committed to exercising and losing weight as you're. One of the advantages of finding a committed partner is that you've someone to keep feeling responsible to them. The knowledge that someone is waiting on you makes it easier for you to get out of bed and go exercise with them. You wouldn't want to stand up your exercise buddy would you? Tip number 60. When your body tells you it has had enough take a break. When you've worked out for a considerable amount of time you'll start receiving signals from your body. This is particularly important when you're just getting started in your exercise routine. Tip number 61. If you decide to increase the length of your workouts do so gradually. The same is true for the intensity of your workouts. Tip number 62. Select an exercise routine that suits your lifestyle. Everybody has a different lifestyle and a different profession. There's no set time that you should or should not work out. If you like to work out late before you go to bed because it is relaxing to you then do it. If you like to work out early in the morning because it helps you wake up then that's great too. Some people like to work out on their lunch break to take a break from the stress of their job or because that is the only time they have available. Tip number 63. Don't stand around walk around. If you can walk around then do it. People who are paces are actually doing themselves a lot of good because they are constantly moving. Pacing also helps you think. Tip number 64. Don't sit if you can stand. If you can stand comfortably, you'll burn more calories doing so than if you were to sit. Tip number 65. Don't lie down if you can sit. Same concept as the two above. Tip number 66. The couch and the television are anti-weight loss. If you're inclined to become a couch potato don't sit on it. In fact if you've to put a not so comfortable chair in front of the television so you won't spend so much time in front of it. The same is true for the computer. If you're a computer junkie. Some people have a more comfortable chair in front of their computer than they do in front of their television. This is of course if you don't work from home and need to work hours at a time in front of your computer because your chair is very important then. Tip number 67. If you've a job where you sit the whole time stand up and stretch every half hour or so. Most of today's jobs are in front of a computer and require you to sit. If you've a job like this make it a point to move every so often. Tip number 68. Walk around while you're on the telephone. You'll get a good workout if it is a long conversation. Tip number 69. Use the stairs instead of the elevator or escalator. These are great conveniences but they make us very lazy. Also it may be quicker to take the stairs than to wait on an elevator to open. Tip number 70. Quit smoking. Smoking does not contribute to your weight exactly but it does lead to erratic eating behaviors and increases caffeine dependence. Tip number 71. 10 minutes of cardio a day is good for most you can get this by other methods. Tip number 84. Lift weights. Strength training burns more fat than people give it credit. When you work on building muscle they begin to burn fat to fuel muscles growth. 
Do be aware that when you gain muscle your scale may not be an accurate tool in determining weight loss because muscle weighs more than fat. Tip number 85. Massage your partner. You can exert yourself a little bit and at the same time you'll be able to compliment them on the weight they have lost if they have been working out with you. Tip number 86. Take the stairs two at a time instead of one at a time. This causes you to have to exert yourself more and increases your heart rate. Tip number 87. Take your dog on a walk. Chances are that if you're not getting enough exercise, neither is your pet. Or let your dog take you on a walk. For once in his life let him lead you where he wants to go and as fast as he wants to get there. It could be a good workout for the both of you. Tip number 88. Join a dancing class. This could be ballroom dancing where you learn dances like the tango salsa or foxtrot. These dances are fast paced and will get you moving. Even slow ballroom dancing is a lot of exercise and will definitely tone your legs. Or you can take an aerobic dance class. How many dances do you know that are overweight? Tip number 89. Lean against the wall so that your face is close and then use your hands to push your body away. Do this three or four times to stretch running. Tip number 72. If you can't run for a physical reason, then try 15 minutes of brisk walking to keep fit. Tip number 73. You can walk anywhere if you've time. If work or the grocery store is not far away, consider walking there or riding a bike. It may take you longer but you're getting your workout in at the same time. Tip number 74. Hide the remote control from yourself. Remote controls are also evil when it comes to losing weight. If you didn't have a remote you may not even turn on the television which means you might find more active things to do. Get up and change the channel if you don't have a remote or go for a walk instead of watching TV. Tip number 75. Do your own fetching. If you need something from the kitchen the TV channel change the mail or newspaper from the driveway, walk and get it yourself. Adding a little. Walking to your day will do wonders for you. Tip number 76. Walk along or climb the escalator with it or just take the stairs. Tip number 77. Walk around during commercial breaks or do simple exercises like crunches or bending over and touching your toes. Do anything to get your body moving more and to keep your blood pumping. Tip number 78. Turn on some music and dance. Again the more you get moving the better you'll feel and the more weight you'll lose. Tip number 79. If you take public transportation get off a block B for your stop and walk the remainder of the way. This is a good way to squeeze in a walk before and after work or on the way to another destination. Tip number 80. Do pelvic gyrations to get your midsection in shape. Of course you wouldn't do these with anybody around but they're a good step in getting your body prepared for more serious stomach crunches. It is also good on the back muscles and keeps you loose instead of tight. Tip number 81. Suck in your stomach when you walk. Walk properly but do your best to keep that stomach tucked in. You'll soon begin to feel those muscles tightening. Tip number 82. Do breathing exercises to tone your midsection. It's amazing how breathing properly and with your entire diaphragm can actually help to tighten your abdominal muscles. Most people breathe way too shallow as it is and oxygen is good for the brain. Tip number 83. Experiment with yoga. Yoga is a great way to lose weight and reduce your stress levels. Yoga teaches you how to control your muscles and gain more control of your individual muscles groups. Tip number 71. 10 minutes of cardio a day is good for most. You can get this by other methods. Tip number 84. Lift weights. Strength training burns more fat than people give it credit. When you work on building muscle they begin to burn fat to fuel muscles growth. Do be aware that when you gain muscle your scale may not be an accurate tool in determining weight loss because muscle weighs more than fat. Tip number 85. Massage your partner. You can exert yourself a little bit and at the same time you'll be able to compliment them on the weight they have lost if they have been working out with you. Tip number 86. Take the stairs two at a time instead of one at a time. This causes you to have to exert yourself more and increases your heart rate. Tip number 87. Take your dog on a walk. Chances are that if you're not getting enough exercise, neither is your pet. Or let your dog take you on a walk. 
for once in his life let him lead you where he wants to go and as fast as he wants to get there. It could be a good workout for the both of you. Tip number 88, join a dancing class. This could be ballroom dancing where you learn dances like the tango salsa or foxtrot. These dances are fast paced and will get you moving. Even slow ballroom dancing is a lot of exercise and will definitely tone your legs. Or you can take an aerobic dance class. How many dances do you know that are overweight? Tip number 89, lean against the wall so that your face is close and then use your hands to push your body away. Do this three or four times to stretch. Running. Tip number 72, if you can't run for a physical reason, then try 15 minutes of brisk walking to keep fit. Tip number 73, you can walk anywhere if you've time. If work or the grocery store is not far away. Consider walking there or riding a bike. It may take you longer but you're getting your workout. In at the same time. Tip number 74. Hide the remote control from yourself. Remote controls are also evil when it comes to losing weight. If you didn't have a remote you may not even turn on the television which means you might find more active things to do. Get up and change the channel if you don't have a remote or go for a walk instead of watching TV. Tip number 75, do your own fetching. If you need something from the kitchen the TV channel change the mail or newspaper from the driveway, walk and get it yourself. Adding a little, walking to your day will do wonders for you. Tip number 76, walk along or climb the escalator with it or just take the stairs. Tip number 77, walk around during commercial breaks or do simple exercises like crunches or bending over and touching your toes. Do anything to get your body moving more and to keep your blood pumping. Tip number 78, turn on some music and dance. Again the more you get moving the better you'll feel and the more weight you'll lose. Tip number 79, if you take public transportation get off a block B for your stop and walk the remainder of the way. This is a good way to squeeze in a walk B for and after work or on the way to another destination. Tip number 80, do pelvic gyrations to get your midsection in shape. Of course you wouldn't do these with anybody around but they're a good step in getting your body prepared for more serious stomach crunches. It is also good on the back muscles and keeps you loose instead of tight. Tip number 81, suck in your stomach when you walk. Walk properly but do your best to keep that stomach tucked in. You'll soon begin to feel those muscles tightening. Tip number 82, do breathing exercises to tone your midsection. It's amazing how breathing properly and with your entire diaphragm can actually help to tighten your abdominal muscles. Most people breathe way too shallow as it is and oxygen is good for the brain. Tip number 83, experiment with yoga. Yoga is a great way to lose weight and reduce your stress. Levels. Yoga teaches you how to control your muscles and gain more control of your individual muscles groups. Tip number 84, lift weights. Strength training burns more fat than people give it credit. When you work on building muscle they begin to burn fat to fuel muscles growth. Do be aware that when you gain muscle your scale may not be an accurate tool in determining weight loss because muscle weighs more than fat. Tip number 85, massage your partner. You can exert yourself a little bit and at the same time you'll be able to compliment them on the weight they have lost if they have been working out with you. Tip number 86, take the stairs two at a time instead of one at a time. This causes you to have to exert yourself more and increases your heart rate. Tip number 87, take your dog on a walk. Chances are that if you are not getting enough exercise neither is your pet. Or let your dog take you on a walk. Four ones in his life let him lead you where he wants to go and as fast as he wants to get there. It could be a good workout for the both of you. Tip number 88, join a dancing class. This could be ballroom dancing where you learn dances like the tango salsa or foxtrot. These dances are fast paced and will get you moving. Even slow ballroom dancing is a lot of exercise and will definitely tone your legs. Or you can take an aerobic dance class. How many dances do you know that are overweight? Tip number 89, lean against the wall so that your face is close and then use your hands to push your body away. Do this three or four times to stretch. Tip number 90, swim whenever you can.
Swimming is a great way to get your cardio exercise and it's low to no impact on your joints which is great for people who have osteoporosis or joint problems. Tip number 91. Try playing tennis or basketball. Playing games are a great way to get into shape. It's also more fun to work out with someone else in a competitive atmosphere. You'll be more driven to push yourself and you'll burn more calories, just don't overdo it. Tip number 92. Always start your workout with a warm-up of about 5 to 10 minutes and end with a cool-down of 5 to 10 minutes. Your body needs to reach a certain heart rate level before it will respond well to the rest of the workout. Tip number 93. Don't carry your wireless phone or cell phone with you. If it rings go walk for it. There are so many conveniences in life and we always have everything we need at our fingertips but this is obviously bad for the waistline. Tip number 94. If you're standing around stretch your legs a bit by standing up on your toes and then gradually drop to your heels. You can also flex your buttock muscles as well but maybe when nobody else is looking. Tip number 95. Before going to bed undress and stare at yourself in front of the mirror. Take note of what areas you need to improve on and what areas are your best assets. Taking a self. Inventory can keep you motivated in your workout endeavors. Also don't forget to compliment yourself on any new muscle tone you may have or other improvements you've made. Tip number 96. Don't slouch in your chair. Try to sit up straight and erect at all times. Slouching is bad for your back and gives you a flabby figure. Make it a point to always sit and stand with good posture. Tip number 97. Most people would like to target their stomachs and get rid of that area altogether. Unfortunately we can't spot reduce. But one thing you can do is a breathing exercise to help tighten those stomach muscles. Breathe in air as strong as you can and tuck your stomach at the same time as much as you can. Hold it for a few seconds and then slowly let it out. Don't let it out so fast that your belly flops out. This is not good. Try to breathe like this whenever you think about it about 50 to 60 times a day is ideal. This will help you to lose at least an inch within 20 days or so. Tip number 98. Use a chart such as the one below to assist you in your weight loss endeavors. This chart shows you how many calories each of these common exercises burn based on 20 minutes. Exercise calories burned aerobics 200 to 250 stationary bicycling 250 to 300. Actual bicycling 300 to 400 running at 5 to 6 mph 300 to 350. Stair climber 200 to 250. Swimming laps 350. Brisk walking. Weeding and cultivating your garden 130 to 200. Sex yes sex can be exercised to 5060. Basketball shooting baskets to playing a game 130 to 250 golf carrying clubs no cart 166 golf carrying clubs based on 2 hours of play. Instead of 20 minutes 1000. Snorkeling 150 to 200. Water skiing 180 to 200. Ice skating general 200 to 250. Cross country skiing 2.5 miles per hour light effort 200 to 250. General skiing 200 to 250. Scuba diving 200 to 250. Whitewater rafting. Kayaking or canoeing 150 to 200. Flag or touch football 250 to 300. Horseback riding trotting 200 to 250. Martial arts 300 to 350. Racquetball 200 to 250. Volleyball 6 to 9 person team 90 to 120. Volleyball. Beach 25 to 300. Tennis. Singles 250 to 300. Tai Chi. Terms and conditions. Legal notice. The publisher has strived to be as accurate and complete as possible in the creation of this report, notwithstanding the fact that he does not warrant or represent at any time that the contents within are accurate due to the rapidly changing nature of the internet. While all attempts have been made to verify information provided in this publication, the publisher assumes no responsibility for errors, omissions, or contrary interpretation of the subject matter herein. Any perceived slights of specific persons, peoples, or organizations are unintentional. In practical advice books, like anything else in life, there are no guarantees of income made. Readers are cautioned to reply on their own judgment about their individual circumstances to act accordingly.
This book is not intended for use as a source of legal, business, accounting or financial advice. All readers are advised to seek services of competent professionals in legal, business, accounting and finance fields. You are encouraged to print this book for easy reading. Don't leave before you press like button below and subscribe to this channel. As a subscriber you will receive a new notifications every time a new video is uploaded. Good luck.